evening, ladies. I enjoy the show, and today I have a question. My best friend keeps feeding me issues about my boyfriend. Yep. Some I do not even know where she gets them. Could it could it be that she wants us to break up so that she can go for him? How do I handle this situation, girl? You're in such a tricky spot. Really, you're in such. Let me let me just give you an example. Very early on in a relationship, um, I started dating this person, and I would get anonymous, anonymous um, messages. You know, they come say this and this and this and this about my partner, and I couldn't understand where all this bile was coming from until I found out it was somebody very close to me and I was like wait if all of this were true why was she not coming to me Directly. you know you're my friend why are you not coming to me and it kind of raised suspicion so I approached my partner and I said hey listen this has been happening this and this information has been coming to me what exactly is going on and I realized that at some point for a small window of time I really did give power to this narrative because i was just in a point where i'm just angry i'm just angry i'm feeling stupid i'm feeling like you know somebody is taking me for idiot and upon investigation i realized okay one plus one is not you know adding two so maybe look at the intentions uh these stories that you're receiving what is the intention behind it these stories that she's coming to you are they true? Have you tried to figure out if it's true stories? These stories that she's giving you, why is she telling you is the question, you know? Because I feel like if I knew like some tea about Kathomi's partner, first of all, I'd, I'd want to know, I'd want to verify for sure before I come and just offload all of this gossip. Because it feels like she listens to gossip somewhere, she goes, investigates, she comes and shares tea with you. As in... Not thinking of the impact of my words on her is a bit selfish. So hey, try and figure out why is she always having tea about your partner? Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean he's my boyfriend. He's not your boyfriend. Mm. Why is he always in your mouth? So maybe try to investigate. Find a due diligence kidogo. Figure out what exactly is happening. Is it true? Is it not true? And if it's not true, talk to her and ask her, hey, listen, every time we link up, you always have a story about Kenudia. What exactly is going on? You never even tell me if you're, having, if you're dating somebody new. It's always something my boyfriend has done. Why are you so invested? Just, just talk to her and figure out what's happening. Because that, that's suspicious. <laughs> yeah, I think so. But like, here is the truth. Um, and I think the, the reason why you said it was tricky is because it could either be true or mm -hmm. it could be false. And unfortunately, um, how you approach it will make or break your relationship, unfortunately. Because if it is true... And your friend is genuinely trying to look out for you you're going to lose a friend if you assume and you call her out for on it and you're like hey baby what's what's why are you always like what are you trying to get with my man what's going on mm. and if it is not true then you accuse your boyfriend of something sus then he's just going to be like honestly surely what was that what was that obviously now they start you start to have trust issues and all of these other things so in my personal opinion i think um what Tori said is quite sound. Investigate for yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't take sides first. Find out for yourself. Oh yeah, but they, you said, huh? like, who told you this? How did you find out? Mm -hmm. Give me photo evidence, video evidence, something, some screenshot yeah, somewhere. If there's no evidence. If there's no evidence, also try and go a step further and try and find out from other people, other friends. Like, you guys, have you seen anything like this happening? Uh, like, please tell me, be honest with me. Um, I really just want to get down to the bottom of it. Ask other friends. I'm sure you guys have other friends, right? Um, and then if it's starting to sound like, okay, maybe he is hella sus, then ask him directly. You're like, hey, babe, I've heard A, B, C, D, E, and E. Like, can you please verify or, you know, try and help me demystify these stories because I'm it's irking me it's making me anxious i just want to know what the truth is and then deal with it from there but you can't just like go like a loaded gun and you're mm. like i heard you did what did you do or you can't just tell your friend you're jealous uh blah 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 yeah. like try and get to try and get more concrete evidence before you decide which way to lean yeah. um because it could be either it could be she really just wants to get with your man and she wants to get rid of you and mm -hmm. yeah it sounds like if you don't we are Handle watching this. Mario Husband. Yeah. The, the K drama. Oh, I haven't watched it. It, it. it has me questioning female friendships. It, it, yeah. 
So it could you be know? that she's like, hey. It could be that she's eyeing your man and she wants to come and collect. But you need to be the one to decide for yourself. Let not, let, let, let's not jump into conclusions, break up with your man, and then you're like, oh my God, I had a feeling. No, 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 mm -hmm. no. Before you are making funny mistakes or decisions, verify, verify, verify. In God we trust, in man we verify, okay? In data we trust, in man we verify, correct? Moving on swiftly, your messages. My God. Yeah, you know, not one and check a let wapa. Kathomi, darling. Why do I feel like this is Nat Natasha? V for violence, but we are not naming names. Thank you. We are not naming names. Shiku. To Malise Storiapo. Warembo. Hello. And happy Thursday. Always a pleasure hanging out with you, Darcy. Love and light to you, girl. You're always making God say you love it. Mm -hmm. uh, someone else saying, Where? Mimi hiyo story ya kukoniwa. Hehe, nimekuwa kond. Kathobi, mimi nilikoniwa 30k. Immediately nikimeliza form 4. Ati mtu anipe job kwa county government. Pua mi. Dare, sweetie. That is a lot for an employed person. Yo. Kai, Yo. I'm so sorry. Sijali, hata mi nilishikuwa na wale wa Kenya Airways. Don't worry, you are not alone. <laughs> What's someone else saying? We have Mama Blessing who is tuned in saying, Nime wa Miss Mbaya. It's been a minute since I was with you. But si kwa Mbaya, nilikuwa na struggle kiasi with my baby. She was fighting sickness, but God has decided for her not to struggle too much. And took her, may her soul rest in peace. Oh. But everything is fine now. And takwa tune in and you show you could lead. Ah, Mama Nati. Mama blessing. I am so sorry, We're for, so your sorry for your loss. Uh, we pray that you know things get better for you. Yeah. Um, we have uh somebody saying you didn't leave your name. Uh, hi, let's talk. I love you, ladies. We have somebody else tuned in saying, Aki girl, where well, uh it's been a long time. Last time I viewed Let's Talk was 2022. Guy. 2022 gosh anyway welcome back uh asking for advice but still niliachwa <laughs> ulikuwa as the girl member i'm so sorry anyway it's joan from rungai um back and beautiful as always thank you very much joan we have uh jose is it jose ethic? jose ethic i'm an jose ethic eh? i got tuned so in saying much. locked in <laughs> hi to mpoa wangu suzi ah yeah, shout out mpoa to suzi your mpoa is watching and shouting you out that, 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 valentine's is coming i'm telling ah, you where's your really boyfriend i'm telling you had you shout out to let's talk and i do watch yeah 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 question that relationship <laughs> <laughs>